Hi, I've had a request from Dana and she is in the UK and she has asked me if I had a recipe for biodegradable seed raising pots. Well, Dana, I just so happen to have the perfect recipe and the great thing about these biodegradable little pots is they are used using, well, the main ingredient is a little bit of flour, some water and some newspaper. Now let's just talk about the newspaper before we go any further. You don't want to use anything that's got any kind of a sheen on it because it just doesn't break down, well, as I discovered in the little, uh, let's see if we can remember how to make these. So you really need to be using new newspaper for this. You also need a bucket and you need to cut all or, or rip all of your paper into very small little segments and the smaller it is the better it is because we're actually going to be making like a paper pulp reusing the paper and I just love it when I can be upcycling and not wasting and saving the environment and when you think about all the newspapers that are produced in a day some in some countries they have too imagine all that newspaper that gets wasted I know though that in lots of places around the world they do have recycling but do they ever recycle it or is it is it all we Recycle, you know, sometimes I just have to worry about, I worry and think about things like this, which is probably seriously unnecessary. But you know, where you can save the environment, the better it is. Right, so just cut all of your newspaper up into, and you need it for the six that we're going to make today, or the 12 that we're going to make today. You need like about a probably 10 sheets of newspaper wrapped up and then once you get to there it's just a matter of covering your paper that you've ripped up with enough water so that all of the paper is submerged and there's about probably an inch, inch and a half of water on the top of it. Now what I've discovered was that it's best to leave it for a good two to three days to really, really absorb all of that water. Right, once that has happened and it's like this, so it's all sort of like quite sort of mushy and it doesn't, not quite mouldy, well not mouldy, but it's, it's kind of, um, the word I'm thinking of is like a bit mushy and a bit sort of slimy. So once you get to that stage there, making sure that you've got enough water into there, you need to get one of these stick blenders and it's just a matter of just blending this up until you get quite a nice fine pulp. And the more water you've got in here, the better, as I discovered. And the other thing you have to be very conscious of is don't have it going too long. Do it in short little spats. And if it's making hard work of it, just put a bit more paper into there, a bit more water into there until you get it all broken up. Now this needs to be pulped up. Just keep going until, oh yuck. I'll get rid of that because we don't want to have too much mess because you get the drift. So see how it's sort of starting to go like that. Keep going until the whole thing looks like that. Nice and fine, like a beautiful, almost, oh, it's quite sort of slurry-y, but that's the stage that you need it to be like really mushy and pulpy like so. Right, from there, the next thing that you need to do is to get a colander. And I've just got a fine piece of gauze and muslin over that. Put that over there like that, so that we don't have water running everywhere. And then that mix gets put into there like so. And then bring all of your edges of your muslin up and let as much water as you can drain through like so. And then just give that a squeeze until as, you need as much as you can out of this so that it's still damp and it comes out looking like a bit of clay. It's marvellous stuff. I had a great time playing with this, which got me into thinking about perhaps making cards. Okay, right. A little bit more can come out of there. Yeah, in fact, heaps more can come out. Right. And I'm just going to put that bolt of that slop into there. And then I'll show you what this looks like. 
Right, opening this out so that it almost is like, it should hold itself together like so, as if it was like clay, just exactly like that, that's perfect. So that there's still just a little bit of moisture in there and it's, so when I squeeze it like that, you might just see that it's just a little bit more moisture still in there. Right, from there, the next thing to do is to get a couple of tablespoons of just plain, ordinary, everyday flour into there and just put a little bit into there. For about that much, you'll need probably about a good tablespoon. Put that, yeah, there we go. I love that I am upcycling. Right, the next thing to do is to just get your hand into there and just give that a little wee mix up so that it's all sort of blended well together. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Right, now bring that out, yeah, so that it's like a clay and it moulds into your hand, that's perfect. Right, from there, the next thing to do is to get some muff, I've just used some biscuit or muffin pans, and it's now just a matter of putting this into your muffin pan or your cookie mould like so and then bringing those edges up exactly as if you were making a little clay pot. From there and then put that into there like so. Quite easy, just bring it up the sides. You need it to be quite th the same sort of thickness all the way around and you don't have to be neat and tidy about how you do this either. Just get it in there and make sure that you've got a little hole into there because after all it is going to go back into the ground right from there the next thing to do is to put that into the oven or if you, it's really hot and sunny at your place put it outside for a couple of days or sneak the whole process and put the little pan the whole pan into the oven at about 140 and I put mine on for about oh, 35 minutes until they come out looking like this and when you do that, oh, I've put it close to my mic. Where is my microphone? Oh, microphone's lost in all the fluff. There it is. Right. So that it's quite as if it is clay, like that lovely bisky sort of sound that you get. Right from there, once you've got those, the next thing to do is to plant them up. And I've got a little bit of seed raising mix here. Now, there, the seed raising mix always comes with a warning and it's usually right at the top and it indicates that it's got little organisms in here that might not be very good for your lungs. So what I do is I put a mask on, I open it right out, leave it outside, leave it for 24 hours so that any little organisms in there are dissipated into the ether and into the air and away from you and then it is anything that's been sealed into there is usually gone. Right, the next thing to do is to get your little cups out and put a little bit of soil into there, like so. Push that down. In fact, I'll do another one. I just love this. This is such a good way of raising little seeds. Oops that into there like that and then into where'd my seeds go here's my seeds here i've got these little seeds here now these little seeds and i've got to show you what they look like this is unbelievable beautiful christmas lilies and this is what they look like look at that that how can you i just find it really fascinating that that little thing there that like little um looks i don't know what it is it's just a wee flat thing that that will actually grow into the most amazing lilies which i will show you another day so it's just a matter of getting your little seed putting a little hole in there putting that into there and then just putting a little bit more of some soil over the top of that and then get, once you've got them all done just very very gently give that a little spray with water keep them well watered and in no time at all you will be left with these little cups and as they go the thing with the flower is it helps to bind everything together 
But the other thing is that as the little plant starts to germinate, the paper around here starts to break down. That there is now ready to just put straight in to dig a hole, put that into the ground. The, as the, it um, starts to grow, all of this paper here will just mush down and go away into the ground. So there you have biodegradable upcycling little seed pots and I think that they are a fabulous way to go. Hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed sharing with you and Dana, that's for you. Have a great day and I'll see you another day. Thank you.